Hi, this is Shane and welcome back to episode 25 of Project Architect. And um, after the last episode, what did we do? We were messing around with um, modular routers and power and making and doing power stuff. And um, I tried to automate um, the making of power of um, the 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 power components with modular routers and with XNet. And I got it semi-automated, which wasn't brilliant, but it was better than nothing. Oh, there's a creeper out there. Creeping, as usual. Anyway, um, right, I got distracted. So that's why I did in the last episode, like I said, it was semi-automated. It was okay. Um, I learned a lot from doing that. I was trying to mess around with it afterwards, and I didn't totally get it automated, but that's fine, right? And um, I went ahead and I made more reactors. I went and covered over the roof, but I didn't... Um, looks a bit generic because I just went and added stuff instead of like properly landscaping it but I just wanted something up here um I haven't finished it as you can see I just wanted a roof on it but I will finish that at some point but we have more we, we now have a little bit more power coming in if we check our disco ball okay only 20, 24.9 thousand years as opposed to 160 something thousand years. Oh, what happens if we go in the middle? Nothing. Right. So yeah, so you know, we've come down a little bit and then it got me thinking. I know I said I wanted to do um, uh, what do you call those things? Another another bigger reactor. Because I was, I was originally going to tear down the bigger reactor that I had make a bigger one and then I thought well no actually why not just make a bigger one anyway because more power you can never have more power right and because I mean disco ball it's it's infinite so you know it doesn't matter how much power you're throwing at it it's never going to fill up and it's a single player world so it's not going to get you know I mean it will get laggy but it's not like I'm on a server and you've got to think about these things so I thought We'll make a bigger reactor today as a proper bigger reactor so that is the main plan for today to go in the back here and make a bigger reactor so i have um i've started to carve out a little bit in the wall i'm going to we're going to demolish that in a minute but what i wanted to do first was heart canisters because um I'm also playing this on a multiplayer server and somebody on the multiplayer server was like, oh, you know, we've got heart canisters. Actually, it was Ash. So shout out to Ash. And he was like, oh, there's a heart, there's heart canisters and you can get lots of hearts. And I think you can get up to 20. So we can do that recipe because you need to use crystalline um, obsidian and I made that because I had because I wanted the the obsidian armor, the, the crystallized obsidian armor that I have, which I also enchanted to be soul bound. So if anything happens, hopefully I will still have my armor if soul bound works how it's supposed to. So um, why don't we make some heart canisters first? So you need lots of things, rabbit stew. Wait a minute. Try this, uh, I have rabbit stew. I have no idea where I got it from, but I have it. Okay, that's strange. But I have all the stuff. I didn't think I had it. But, oh, poisonous potatoes are not EMCable. So, see if I can get eight. How many poisonous potatoes do I have? Oh, they are EMCable. Oh. <laughs> so, <laughs> that is definitely a bit of a derp moment. Okay, let's see what happens when you eat these. So, is it going to scroll all the way around to, so we've got orange. 
Oh, maybe it's not just eight that I need. Oh, maybe it's that I should have done 20 more because it's 10 hearts per. All right, let's go back in and let's get a stack. Okay, so now we have yellow and it's gone into green. That's nice. So we need that's what five or fourteen more, maybe? Are you still going to fill up again? Did we go too fast for you? Possibly fourteen more. Right, let's see how many it lets us take. Oh, it's more than four. Yes, it was 14. I was correct. But now we have blue hearts. Oh, this is brilliant. I've never had so many hearts before. I feel like the doctor. Well, the doctor's only got two, and we've got way more than he has. But that is actually quite brilliant. That's pretty cool. And um, I also wanted to make Colossal Chest as well. That's there. But I have no reason to make it. It's kind of like, it's just there. But I do want to make a Colossal Chest at one point. I don't know if I want to do that today though. Right, let's go and demolish some bricks. Now that I have all my fancy hearts in all their different colours. So let's destruction gadget. That's building. Yeah, da, 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 da. do I have destruction? Yes, we do. And sh uh, shift click. So we want seventeen. Uh, maximum destruction size is sixteen by sixteen by sixteen. Is it 17 by 17 by 17? I don't understand how... Okay. That's quite big, actually. Did I need such a big room, to be honest? I don't know. Honestly, I don't know, but it seems quite fitting. And I've just realized I don't have, um, uh, what do you call that stuff? The thing that makes you see in the dark. I don't have that on. Where's my torch launcher? Or did I chuck it in my, um, my table? Torch. You have to admit, the torch launcher. It really is a cool gadget. Okay, um, well, I want it to, I want to make this back wall, to be honest, I should have probably just put down a, um, a feral, f a f a feral flare? I don't think I've actually made one of those. Um, feral, feral flare lantern places, it, but does it stop mobs from spawning? That's the other thing. Alright, let's see, let's do an experiment. Where are you going to put your lights? Because nothing should spawn in here because we're in here. Although, to be honest, if we're at one end, <laughs> we might get mob spawning at the other end, but you know. Um, let's see, let's knock you down. And you. You two down. And Mr. Lonely all over here. Right. So the only light we have coming in is from this. And now we're in the dark. Have you there? Ooh! Okay. 
Not too bad, actually. But like I said, I don't know if it stops mobs from spawning. I don't know if it does. But there's that. Now. This is, what, 16 high? I wanted to make it 27 high, so we need to go 11. We do an 11. No, we need to make it 11. Same dimensions, but 11? Watch me mess this up now. Uh, depth. Let's see. Left, depth, and up. Up is the height. We want to make it shorter. So we put it down to 11. I put it on the wall. Can't look up though. Yeah, if I make it, put it at the back. The only thing is you can't get it all the way. I can't get it all the way in the shot. Okay, I have no idea what I've just done. All right, let's fill this back in. Let's fill this back in. I don't know what I've done. So, um, G, G. Oh, feral lanterns. Oh, I probably have to. I've I went and updated my game. I shouldn't say updated it. I changed the launcher that I use and I didn't bring over the keybinds and stuff like I should have. So that's why G doesn't work. Options, controls, uh, category, it's destruction. No, it's building gadgets. B U I L. Uh, open material this settings menu. What is show conflicts? Settings menu. Alright. No. Reset. G. G. What's conflicting with G? Change mode. Oh, I've got... Oh, good grief. I think that was end. Uh, the Curio's inventory, we can take that out. Settings menu is that. And it's going to say it's conflicting because I've noticed that if you have a key combination plus the key, it will say it's a conflict, but it's not. So it will say that G and Control G is a conflict when technically it's not. So yeah, a bit strange. So G undo and it fills it back in just like magic so yeah so let's can you make can you you must be able to make an irregular size let's take out this back wall though uh shift let's see if i can do that but i want the depth to be no the depth is that no, the depth. Is that? Um. Yes, there you go. Right. So let's take that off my thing because I don't like having it on. And now it's filled this all up with light. Oh, that, that is pretty cool, actually. So what I should do, really, is put this on ceiling all right let's put you on the ceiling work if he's on the ceiling um yes it does oh that's pretty cool it might take a little bit of a while for it to pick up everything but it does work okay so let's go about making a reactor control g we need reactor casings we need reactor glass uh, we need the full ro full fuel rods. We need a power... No, not the power tap. We need a terminal. We need control rods. And we need two access ports. Right? Yes. So, let's... Okay, so that hasn't filled up, but that's fine. 
we're going to be doing this anyway. So this is much across. Let's do a quick count. I know we just did that, but it didn't look like 17. It looked like more. So we'll have the coolant port right here where we come in. All right, where's my wand? Uh, not in here. There it is. We don't need the torch launcher. Oh, I do remember somebody saying that the feral, feral, the feral lamp will put invisible lights in your um, in your reactor, and you gotta be careful with that. So yeah, much as we like this, let me put on night vision. Um, trinkets hasn't moved. Oh, did I did I lose my favorites? No, I didn't. Right. Uh, options, controls, category, trinkets. Open trinkets. What are you conflicting with? Ah, that show conflicts. What? Okay, done. Uh, trinkets, fire projectile, take you out. What else? Reload menu, take you out. Range overlay, take you out. What else? You can show recipe. Okay, that's fine. Uh, do I have. No, I don't. Light vision. There you go. All right, so let's take out the feral lamp. Feral? Am I saying that wrong? I probably am, to be honest. Take you out, and let's start building. Hopefully, we won't get stuff spawning while we build this. Although we probably will, because isn't the um the default thing like 20... 30 blocks and it's 16 on each side plus one that's 32 33 blocks so don't know back a bit maybe we should have used the building gadget for this and of course it's only now that i've done this i remembered i should have built up the well and then anyhow it's fine oh you don't want to what's going out of the emc quite a bit of a way you know what else i don't know if the reactor has to be like square if it can be irregular shaped build to me building gadget um build to me No, don't smother me. Just build to me. Of course, I can't get out now. That was smart, Shay. You can use the wand for this. I press shift. Right, horizontal. Shift and scroll wheel. Uh, north, south row. Yes, I think that's what I want, right? North. No, that's up and down. East, west. Oh, yes, because we're missing on that side. Oh. Oh, no, we're fine. Of course, now we can't get in. <laughs> That was smart. All right, so now we've got our, our thing. <sighs> this is quite a lot of work. I don't know why it, occur it didn't occur to me it was going to. Oh, hello. You better not take any of my blocks because I will I will deal with you. I you know what? I should probably should have gone around the back as well. I mean, do the whole... Did he take one of my... No, you didn't. And of course, I have a trinket where I can just stare at him menacingly at the back of his head. Yeah, I'm looking at you. Exactly. You. Don't take anything. See, that's what you have to do with Enderman. You just stare them into submission and then they don't do anything. That's the trick with dealing with Enderman. Just look at them. Let's get this floor sorted. You didn't take anything, right? Oh, you left me a present. How nice. See, that's what I told you. You gotta treat them like children. You'll tell them off, let them know when they're doing wrong. So that is... Oh, you're not going to work yet because you're not realised. I found out what I, what I believe is the best... Um, what you call? Oh, hello. Best thing. Reactor. Graphite. Apparently, so we're going to put graphite um, in here instead of emeralds. Because I was watching, I mean, ob obviously with the original one, I um, was watching a tutorial, and they had, um, you know, obviously they were using emeralds because that was the best that they had. But apparently, graphite rods, graphite is the best. And again, you do. I think the checkerboard thing is the the most efficient way of doing it but this time round I've remembered what I said last time which was I was going to just put everything down and then build it up so I am going to do that I'm not going to time lapse it because you've seen me do this before and it's all very much rinse and repeat so I'm going to do all of that and then I will come back 
when we are finished or at least when i finish putting these down anyway so see you guys in a bit okay i've put everything down let's see if my grand plan works oh have i missed one here i think i have um what are we missing graphite i think yeah we're missing graphite i think we have everything else it looks like we have everything else all right let's try this Are you not? Why is it not doing the reactor rods as well? Can it only do? Oh, it looks like it can only do one thing at a time. Well, that's a shame. That is a shame. Okay. Well, in that case, now that we know that it doesn't like to mix um doesn't like to to mix its materials and it can only deal with one th very single-minded that's the word i was looking for single-minded can only do one thing at a time i'm gonna go off camera and build this up and then we'll be back with the finished product my wand just broke so i made the infinity wand i thought i didn't need it because you know i've got the repair talisman it's fine no it's not because it broke <laughs> <laughs> the four endermen stuck oh i can't even all right mister you got you got dead because you're in the way now much as you're being all cute and endearing and all of that i don't that don't wash with me all right that's better i'm back again if you need to undo something like for example i just with the wand that is it, I just went and did that, and I shouldn't have done that. If you press Control and Shift, it will highlight the blocks, and then you hit it with the wand again, and it will get rid of it. I learned that the other day. I can't remember where, I can't remember who did it, but they did it, and that's been a lifesaver, because I know it used to be you'd have to type in a command, and now it's not, but that's how you do it. Control, Shift, and then it will highlight in green, Click with the wand and you undo it. All right, back again. I made the flux ball because I can. I think I'm going to call this series because I can. <laughs> because that's pretty much why I'm doing a lot of this stuff now. Because I can. And um, yeah, it's just something I wouldn't necessarily do or make. And um, I just wanted to clear out some stuff. And I really didn't feel like having to change modes on stuff, and I thought, this makes the flux, flux bore. Because I can. Alright, so I've got a bit of space here. Um, the fuel rods have to be capped off with, um, what's that thing called? Um, yeah, I can't remember now. What's, what mod is this? This is bigger reactors. They have to be capped off with control rods. That's what I was looking for. And it's done. We have our reactor. I have no idea what it's going to be, or what the power's going to be like. Uh, we need to just clear out a little bit of space here. So we need a EMC thingy. Okay, so put that in. This is input, isn't it? That's output. So we need hammer. That's output. That's coming out from here. And if this is input, it's going in from here so that should start filling up i have no idea how much it will take but it's going slowly and let's turn it on is that two point is that 237.2 million rf what's merf could be million i honestly don't know what that is <laughs> see the numbers look good they're all you know like big numbers but i don't know what that means that could be million two point 237.2 million rf if it is i mean that's awesome that's more power than i would ever <laughs> need or well, i don't think it's more power than anybody needs base i like that <laughs> so we have our big old reactor producing a lot 
I suspect it's 237 million RF. But the, um, the big thing is to see how many years it will take to fill up. Oh, there it is. I was looking for something totally different. I don't know what. Um, why was I going out here? Oh yes, to go to... Disco Ball of Power. Nope, that's not what I want. Uh, only 25,000 years. So yeah, that's not bad, because before it was... We've, we've cut it by 20 years. <laughs> so maybe if we put maybe, um... 10 of those huge reactors, it might cut it down to like a hundred years. But um, but yeah, 25,000 years, not too too bad. And we're getting half a million OP per tick being transferred, which is pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, more power than I ever need, but well, like I said, it's because I can. That is absolutely awesome. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. It really goes might help to grow my channel. <laughs> and I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye bye.